What's up guys? Happy New Year and I hope you guys are having a good 2018. I'm really excited for this year on the channel and to make some more videos. And what I really wanna say is thank you guys for the support of the channel so far. Um, I really appreciate it. In order to kick off the videos, I wanna give you guys a setup tour. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments down below. And if I get enough questions on a certain item, I'll make a follow-up video on it. So yeah, let's check it out. The main part of the setup is obviously the new iMac Pro. I'm working on my review of it, but so far I really like the computer. The biggest thing for me is that it's an all-in-one, which makes it really clean and simple on the desk. The other thing I like so far is the I.O. on the back. It has four Thunderbolt 3 ports and four USB ports, so I can easily connect everything, which has been really nice coming from using the MacBook Pro and laptops for the last few years and having to deal with the adapters and docks and just all that stuff. It's super nice to be able to just plug everything into the back of this computer and have it ready to go. Using these connections in the back, I have two main drives connected. The first is the Lacie 2Big Dock Thunderbolt 3 version. This is a 16 terabyte RAID. I just did a video on RAID drives, which you can check out here. But the main reason I like this drive is I have 16 terabytes of space for file archiving where I can easily go back and get some old footage if I need it. The second thing is that it has these memory card slots down here. So there's a USB port, a compact flash port, and then an SD card slot. And I use these to offload all of my footage off my cameras and it makes it just super simple and convenient. I also have a G Drive SSD connected. This particular SSD is part of the R series and it's really durable and uh, you know, it's like the rugged version. I use this to put files on that I'm going to be editing on my laptop if I'm traveling. So it's a really good drive and I think having an SSD like this is super convenient if you're gonna be taking files with you on the go frequently. And so I normally just have this tucked back behind the computer. The other things connected to the iMac are these headphones I use for editing. These are the b H6. I really like them because they're comfortable, they're lightweight, you can wear them for a few hours and they don't give you kind of that ear or head fatigue. I like the fact that they're wired headphones because I don't want to worry about the batteries and the charging of these. And being wired makes the connection with the editing programs easier. I've gotten a lot of errors and had some difficulties when switching the audio sources in editing programs when you're dealing with Bluetooth headphones. So I find the wired headphones just to be much simpler and more reliable. The desk itself is made by Artifox. I really like the cable management and build quality of this desk. They make these desks in a very modular way where they can ship them to your house and they're really easy to put together. It's just basically the legs and then the top part. I can attach a surge protector and cables um, to this back piece and they stay pretty hidden. There's also a nice cable management slot here in the back where I can run charging cables up from the surge protector that I use to keep all my devices charged. The keyboard that I use so far is this iMac Mac keyboard in space gray. The mouse is the Logitech G903. This is a gaming mouse, so I do use this if I play games on uh, the boot camp partition, but that's not quite ready for prime time yet. And the other thing I use here is the Rode NT USB microphone. This is a really, really nice microphone. I like it a lot. It's easy to use. You just kind of plug it in and, and you can then record your voice. It's really high quality. Up here on the shelf, which is also made by Artifox, they sell all these little modular accessories for the desk, which is cool. But up here is the Canon 6D, which I'm using for a lot of my videos. I want to do a follow-up video on the 6D about you know six months after my initial review. And let me know if there's any topics or items of interest that you would like me to cover on that video. Um, let me know in the comments here and I will um, try to cover them in that video. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this little desk tour. This is really what I use. Nothing's added, nothing's taken away. As always, thanks for watching and see you next time.